Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories. <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. Body Boundaries Make Me Stronger Written by Elizabeth Cole Nick was having fun, running around the playground, and sliding down the slide from the top to the ground. But all the fun was spoiled by a boy named Ben, who started tickling Nick over and over again. Ben was poking little Nick until it got to be too much. Nick frowned at Ben. He didn't like that type of touch. So, he took his toys and ran home straight away, unaware that another surprise was on the way. Your favorite aunt is coming, his mom excitedly said. But, instead of being happy, little Nick bowed his head. He started making excuses that sounded weird and silly. It's napping time. It's bathing time. I don't feel well, really. Nick's mom noticed him acting upset and a bit strange too. What's wrong, honey? Is there something bothering you? Nick never lied to his mom and he never lied to his dad. So, he decided to tell them what made him upset and sad. I don't feel comfortable when Ben starts to tickle and poke. For me, it's not a nice feeling. But for him, it's just a joke. And I love my dear auntie. Please don't get me wrong, but her kisses are endless and her hugs are so strong. Nick's mom said, Oh, honey, you have the right to choose. If you don't like the kissing and tickling, you can sure refuse. Kicks, punches, Pinches and pushes are not okay for you, but sometimes even pleasant touches can be unwelcome too. If someone touches you and you want them to let you go, remember your body is only yours and you can say no. With kind words, you can explain to everyone so they understand. Instead of hugs or kisses, they can high five or shake your hand. You can't see your body boundary, but it doesn't mean it isn't there. It's your personal space and you get to decide if you want to share. Everyone should respect that. At school, on the bus, or at the zoo, you can become uncomfortable if someone gets too close to you. If someone comes right up to you and talks too close to your face or breathes down your neck, they are invading your personal space. Think of your body boundary as an imaginary bubble. And if anyone tries to break in, it can cause some trouble. It's the same with your private parts, hidden beneath your underwear. No one is allowed to touch or see them. No one should even dare. If someone tries to do it, someone you know or a stranger, immediately run and tell an adult that you are in danger. Nick asked, what about the doctor I visited the other day? Nick's dad smiled. Doctors keep us healthy, and that's okay. They take care of our bodies, to keep them strong as can be. And when you have a checkup, you go with your mom or me. And how do I know I am in danger if a person is kind? How do I know their intentions and what's on their mind? Little Nick was confused. But his mom made it all clear. There are many signs that you can recognize, my dear. If our neighbor pats you on the head because you were polite, or a teacher gives you a sticker for being good, that's alright. But if someone offers to touch you in exchange for sweets, remember, it's a trap, especially from strangers on the streets. If this kind of thing ever happens, the best thing you should do is talk to someone on your safety team, and they will help you. Safety team? Nick was curious and his eyes had a gleam. 
that sounds as powerful as some kind of superhero team. It's made up of people you trust, like me and your mother. It could be a teacher, a grandparent, or your older brother. If, by any chance, the people on your list are not nearby, tell another adult or leave that place without being shy. Nick took all of his parents' advice. It was wise and clever. And he began to act on it. He was feeling safer than ever. Not ashamed to speak up, little Nick had no secrets to hide because he knew his safety team would always be by his side. And when his favorite aunt came to visit them for a while, Nick asked her for a high five and she did it with a smile. Respecting others' body boundaries became Nick's mission. So, he did not tickle, hug, or kiss someone without permission. Nick found some touches to be unpleasant and impolite. So, he refused any of the ones that seemed not quite right. But some touches made Nick happy, calm, and full of bliss. Especially his mother's tender caress and her goodnight kiss. Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one! Bye!